Lok Sabha has also seen the weaponization of a parliamentary committee. Ironically, the Ethics Committee, which was set up to serve as a moral compass for members. Instead, it has been abused egregiously today to, exact, to do exactly what it was never meant to do, which is to bulldoze the opposition and become another weapon to talk to us into submission. This committee and this report has broken every rule in the book. In essence, you are finding me guilty of breaching a code of ethics that does not exist. The committee is punishing me for putting, engaging in a practice that is routine, accepted and encouraged in the House. The findings are based solely on the written testimonies of two private citizens whose versions contradict each other in material terms, none of whom I was allowed to cross-examine. One of the two private citizens is my estranged partner who, with malified intention, masqueraded as a common citizen in front of the committee. The two testimonies have been used to hang me there at polar opposites to each other. The complainant says I accepted cash and consideration from a businessman to ask questions in furtherance of his commercial interests. But the businessman Suomoto Affidavid says I pressurized him into uploading questions to further my agenda. The two are at polar opposites. The Ethics Committee, without getting to the root of this, has decided to hang me. It refused to summon the businessman to orally testify and there is no evidence of any cash, of any gifts, anywhere. The recommendation of expulsion is based solely on the ground that I have shared my Lok Sabha portal login. There are no rules whatsoever to govern the sharing of logins. As the hearing of the Ethics Committee demonstrates, all of us MPs are conveyor belts to get questions from the public, from citizens, and to voice that in Parliament. What is important is that if this Modi government thought that by shutting me up, they are going to do away with the Adani issue, let me tell you this, that this kangaroo court has only shown to the all of India that the haste and the abuse of due process you have used demonstrates how important Mr. Adani is to you and to what length you will go to harass a single woman MP into shutting her into submission. Tomorrow the CBI will be sent to my house. I'm sure they will harass me for the next six months. But I would like to ask, what about the 13,000 crore coal scam of Mr. Adani that the CBI and the ED have not found place to do, look at? You tell me I have compromised national security with a login portal? Mr. Adani is buying all our ports, all our airports, and his shareholders are foreign professional investors, and, and the Minister of Home Affairs is giving them clearance to buy all our infrastructure. Ramesh Viduri stands up in Parliament and says to Danesh Ali, he's one of 26 Muslim MPs, only one of 26. In a country of 200 million Muslims, the BJP has 303 MPs and has not sent one Muslim to Parliament. Ramesh Viduri stood up and told Danesh Ali, ye bharwa, ye katwa, no action has been taken. Nothing has been taken. You hate minorities. You hate women. You detest Nari Shakti. You cannot handle power and authority. I'm 49 years old. I will fight you for the next 30 years inside parliament, outside parliament, in the gutter, on the streets. Adim hung hings from Manubikatar Jodi Ami Ke Uhoi. Shajon Harane Shoshane Todeh Chita Ami Tool Boy. We will see the end of you. Do not wonder. Punjab is in the Gujarat, Maratha, Dravi, Raut, Kolabongo. You don't have the Punjab. Sindh is not ours. Dravid is not yours. Utkal is not yours. Bongo is not yours. Where do you think you're going to rule us? Where do you think you get this brute majority from? The Ethics Committee has no power to expel. You have assumed the powers of a quasi-judicial authority and imposed a penalty on me that you have no power to do. You have disregarded due process, proportionality, and abused every tenant. This is the beginning of your end. We're going to come back and we're going to see the end of you. So thank you very much. Oh, thank well you. Done. Well done.